Hello everyone, today I have a, another haul for you. This one is from The Bathing Garden. This was her Take Me to the Sea um, and Shannon's Picks, I think it was called, collections um, for summer. So I didn't get into the samples yet. I did smell through everything that I purchased one time. Um, but I already forget most of them, so um, I just thought I would open the samples with you guys. I don't have scent notes. I have the scent list pulled up, so for the stuff that I bought, I will just see if the scent notes are on there very quickly. Um, I'm not going to look them up for all the samples, though, so I'm just going to go through these and tell you what they smell like to me. Sorry if you don't like the crinkling. <laughs> I know Lori Brown was just talking about that. I love the crinkling, so I don't know if anybody actually hates it, but okay. The first thing I pulled out, let's see if this is focused, is Frosted Pumpkin. And it's this cute little pumpkin. Oh, that's really nice that there is like cinnamon in here mm -hmm. cinnamon and I get like a creamy pumpkin I feel like I'm getting a citrus in here I don't know why hmm that smells really good there's what it looks like. Yeah. I like that. That smells like it's going to be strong. Mm. She did say there were... Blah, blah, blah. She did say there would be Halloween samples in here. So, excited for that. Obviously, that's a Halloween sample. Um, okay, the next one is Party... Pumpkin party. I was going to say party pumpkin. Um, oh, and this is what that one looks like. I Everything she does is just so beautiful. All right, this. I feel like there's like a fruit punch or something in here. With, with pumpkin. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is like fruity and pumpkin, but not like apple and pumpkin, like, I don't know, kind of like pomegranate, like a bright, or maybe cranberry. I don't know. It smells like some kind of punch and pumpkin. It smells good. I don't know if it's my kind of pumpkin, but it smells good. And obviously I'll try it. Um... This one is Trick or Treat Bag. Is that a Pepper Ghost? Let me see. I don't think I can focus anymore. I think that's a little... It's like a pepper cut in half that looks like a ghost or like a monster face. <laughs> How cute is that? Okay, Trick or Treat Bag. And this is pretty piece of candy oh this sounds kind of different than I was expecting okay it is like candy like it's sweet I like this more than I expected there's almost like a, a clean note in here or like a like slightly perfumey, but definitely like sweet candy also. Hmm, that one's interesting too. That smells good. I'm so excited for fall and Halloween, guys. I can't wait to melt through these samples. <laughs> um, 
And so far, I don't know if these, if any of these are new scents. I have no idea. Um, but so far I haven't had any of these before. So even in samples, um, this one is Fearscapes. Looks like a little Krampus on there. Fun. And look at that. Well, I'll show you out of the bag. I don't know why I keep showing you it in the bag. Hmm, what is this? I'm not sure what this is, what this smells like. Mm, that smells good. Look how cool that is. Oh man, that's awesome. I don't know if there's like a nutmeg in here. I get like a kind of like a creaminess. This one's hard for me to pinpoint, guys. I want to say I get like a nutmeg and a creaminess and I'm not sure what else. Ugh. I'm sorry. It smells really good though. I'm just being terrible at describing it. I don't know. Really good though. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to melt that. And I love, I love that little Krampus on there. That is so cute. Okay. I can't take this long on every sample. This one is Ghost Coast. And I will just show you the shape out of the bag. Hmm, what is that? <laughs> I'm just gonna say, what is that for every scent? I don't know. I feel like I need coffee, guys like to smell one second all right I just went and grabbed <laughs> this bag of coffee because I feel like my nose is getting full of all the scents and I can't decipher what I'm smelling anymore it's wax everywhere okay let me try this again hopefully I can smell something Hmm. I don't know. I'm still not like pinpointing what the, the scent is here. Oh, you know what? I just realized this says ghost toast, not ghost coast. That's why, because I kept trying to smell something like fresh like the coast like beachy or like soapy but i kept smelling something foody yeah so i'm not i'm still not sure what this is but it, there's definitely like a warm kind of foody vibe yeah it might be like a bread mm, with some kind of jelly maybe Oh, I don't know. It does smell good. And now that I realize that says toast, it's so weird how your nose and your brain work like that. <laughs> so weird. But yeah, I definitely smell it now that I realize it says that. Um, then, okay, we have Rocket Pop. Obviously, it's going to be a Rocket Pop scent. Yep. Um, yeah, it does smell like that, but I also almost feel like I get a slight hint of coconut in here. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I get coconut in here for sure. That's nice. It's very summery. Yeah, that smells good. Rocket pop. I need to pick it up, guys. It's taking forever just on the samples. Um, next one, the corn maze. Look at that little guy, little pumpkin guy. 
Okay. Oh, that's very like airy, outdoorsy. Oh, I like that a lot. This almost smells like some kind of body care to me. Oh, that smells good. I don't get like sugar corn pudding or like candy corn or any kind of corn from this. It's like fresh air and like body care <laughs> to me. Smells really good. Mm, I like that. Oh, I don't know what I want to melt today. I want to melt all these things. Okay. And I still need to melt what I have already. <laughs> um, all right. This one is Coconut Cove. Like, do you see these samples, guys? This is ridiculous. She sends you so much. Look at this huge sample. Oh, my. That smells really good. Oh, I really like that. This is a coconut that I enjoy very much. Oh, it's very pretty and <clears throat> there's like a berry or something in here also. I think anyway. Oh, I like that a lot. I don't know if I want to cut this big sand dollar though. Oh, that smells good. Really good. Um, is there still more? All right, this one is November's pumpkin. I have had this one. I have this in a clam. Um, I think it's still, I think I still have a full clam of this actually. Yeah, and this is just like kind of a lighter pumpkin scent with It's not like a heavily spiced pumpkin. There's something in there. It might be... I don't know. This just makes me think of like pumpkins. <clears throat> Sorry guys. This makes me think of like pumpkins sitting on some porch steps. It's not like a spiced pumpkin. It's not like super creamy it's like an outdoorsy pumpkin to me if that makes sense mm, it smells good i do have a clam of that that is probably super strong by now because it's been sitting since last fall um okay this one have i had this before i'm not sure poisoned apothecary i know i've seen this before i don't know if i've actually had it though Oh wow, I really like that. <laughs> Here's what this one looks like. Oh, what is that? I know what that is. There's like a spice in here. It's not like super heavy cinnamon though. Definitely a spice though. So if you don't like spice at all, I would not suggest this, but I'm getting that cinnamon, but then I'm getting some kind of herb. This is so good and it smells like it's going to be super strong. Oh my goodness. I'm going to need to make sure I get on when the site goes live so I can get this one in a clam. Oh, I can't even, once again, I can't even explain this. That is just lovely. A perfect fall scent to me. I think there may be some apple in here. I feel like I'm getting apple. Maybe pumpkin. Definitely that spice. And then I feel like there's some kind of herb in here though. I don't know. I can't pick it out. That one's really good. I think there's just two more. Um, yeah, here's Brain Freeze. Gonna assume this will be minty. Oh my goodness. 
And look at that little rain. Oh, I love that. Oh, this smells so good, guys. Peppermint. Oh, there's something else in there though, like um, like a smooth vanilla or something creamy. Or maybe like a buttermint with peppermint. Oh, I don't know. This is definitely like clearing my nose though. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. I'm like inhaling it deeply because I need my nose cleared. My allergies are just still every day terrible. Okay. And that smells so good. And then the last sample I have is a sugar scrub in Bellissima. And I think I've had this. I think I, I may have gotten this in my last order. Bellissima in a sugar scrub. I know I got it in wax. It's really pretty. I think it's I'm not sure, but I think it's like a body care type. Um, I don't know. It smells like a body care to me. It's really pretty though. I can't get it closed, but that's okay because it's sealed already. Okay. So now let's get into the things that I ordered. <laughs> um, I picked up some sugar scrubs. I still have everything in the box here. So I'm just pulling out of the box. Um, this one is big glare turquoise loves coconut and I'm not gonna open them I just like to keep them sealed until I use them so but that's what that one looks like that just sounded really fresh and summery to me so then I picked up pink sand this is a rosehip seed oil sugar scrub and that's what the top looks like um, I don't think I got this one in wax, did I? I might have, I'm not sure, but I think this is like pink sugar and sunscreen maybe. I might be wrong, I don't know, but this one sounded really good also. And then I picked up Mother Nature. This is a coconut oil sugar scrub. That's what that looks like, look how pretty. I love her sugar scrubs so much. Um, and I think I did grab a clam of that one so we can talk about the scent when I get to it. Okay, one second. Okay, I just paused for a second to kind of rearrange the stuff in the box so it was a little easier to get to. Um, so the only, I only picked up one thing in a shape and then everything else is clams. Um, so the first thing I picked up is sunflower and I don't see that on the scent list so I'll just tell you what it smells like to me let me pop one of these out they're kind of stuck together but here's what that looks like how pretty oh my gosh and this is just so pretty this is I know I say clean a lot guys but this smells like a clean floral to me it's not like heavily perfume or like super powdery floral this is a very clean floral to me oh and I love it and I feel like this is one that you could melt from summer into fall yeah that's really nice and so pretty okay yeah I like that um, <clears throat> then this is the only one, I think, the only one that I had tried before. Um, this is Salty Siren. I had a sample of this from, I think from my Alice in Wonderland order. So this is the saltiest lime margarita fit for a siren. So it's just a lime margarita scent, but oh my goodness, it is so good. Oh, it's so like salty and fizzy. The lime is perfect. This makes me so thirsty. <laughs> oh, yep. So good. And then look at how pretty that clam is. The mermaid tail. I just love it. Mm, 
Yeah, it's good. It's a good performer too. Okay. Then I picked up, well, I might, I'm gonna save that one because I wanted to talk about it. Um, okay, I picked up lacquered lollipops and let me see if this is here. Yep, black currant, citrus, cypress, musk, and ginger. So I've realized that I like cypress incense and also ginger in wax. Um, so that's why I wanted to pick this one up. Also, it was in her like her picks, her favorites collection. Oh, it's really good. The only thing that I'm not sure about is the black currant. I've noticed in some wax, black currant is just, it just smells off to me. And I do pick that up here, but I feel like the other notes are going to really carry the scent for me um, because I definitely pick up on the ginger, the musk, the citrus, the cypress, and they smell really good. I don't know if this is a type or I know she does a lot of like lush types and things. I don't think this is, but it does, it just smells really good. It is a little sweet, but it also has that depth from the black currant. And I think it's just like the citrus and the musk that are giving it a sweeter note. Let me see if I can pop it out and smell the bottom. Oh yeah, it's definitely even better when you smell the bottom. This is so good. Oh, I think I'm going to love this on warm. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's good. It's really the cypress, the musk, and the ginger together really make this scent for me. So this is so good. I can't wait to warm that and see what it does on warm. Like I said, I'm gonna have a hard time deciding what to warm today because I wanna try all these things. Okay, then I picked up Lavender Beach Martini. Um, let me just see. Guys, I didn't write down the scent notes. I don't, I don't think I've mentioned before, but I was recently diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and I've just been having um, some trouble with my right hand the last few weeks. It's really been acting up. So I just didn't want to take the, like spend the time writing all these down and then cause my hand to get worse. So that's why I'm just looking them up as we go. Um, so I'm sorry if it's annoying, but that's just what I have to do right now. So anyway, this one is French lavender, sea salt, lemon, pink grapefruit, and clary sage. And that just sounds amazing. Oh, this is so, so good. Oh yeah, I love this. Okay, here's what this looks like. Just so pretty. I did want to mention, I think that her prices did go up a little bit, which is, you know, completely understandable. When you think about how much work goes into each of these things, it's just, it's worth it. Um, she is still like in range of every other vendor and even slightly under a lot of vendors. So the prices are still good to me. Um, and the smells so good. Yeah, definitely that French lavender. There is a saltiness. Um, I definitely get the clary sage. I don't know. Let me pop it out because I don't smell a whole lot of like lemon and pink grapefruit. Okay. Yeah, they're there for sure, but they aren't overpowering. So this is beautiful. This is a very beautiful scent. I'm super excited about that one. Oops. Not my tea light. Okay. Um, what's the next one? Oh, I picked up Beach Bum. This is just, yeah, the Bobbi Brown beach type. I just love this scent, so I will just randomly pick it up when I see it. It's so pretty. Yeah, and it smells 
Oh, so good. Like Bobby Brown beach type. So beachy, summery. I love that very much. Um, then I grabbed Take Me to the Sea, mostly because this is what the collection is called and because um like look at this glam okay let me see if this is gonna come up for me take me to the sea lemon grapefruit sea salt windy sea air beech wood and light something and that the word is missing but oh that's really nice I definitely get a lot of oops, sorry I definitely get a lot of the salty sea air look at that though I had to get this one because look at that clam that's so pretty <laughs> um, yeah I definitely get a lot of salty sea air um, let me pop it out once again and see if I get anything more on the bottom okay yeah I do get the lemon and the grapefruit I don't know that I necessarily get beechwood, but there is something more in there. It's not just the citrus and the salty sea air. That's nice. It is mostly salty sea air to me, but it smells really good. Okay, then I picked up this one, salt water. And I'm glad that I did because I saw I think yeah I think it was Ramona I saw Ramona talk about this one and she said how much she loves it and I was like oh I picked up one in the restock so I'm glad I did um, and the notes are clean lime citrus and sea salt oh it smells so good you guys it really smells like look at that with the salt it really smells like you're in the ocean there's a saltiness here that I can almost like taste oh my goodness it's very aquatic salty aquatic not salty sea air yeah I love this oh that's so nice that's really nice it really smells like ocean water to me but with like like how would you get in the ocean and like your you can smell like your sunscreen and like whatever you have in your hair you can smell it like mixing in with the salt water that's what this smells like to me and I just love it I'm going to the beach soon and I cannot wait because I'm having like withdrawals um okay then I have salted lavender I think um, the salted scents are just well I don't know I was gonna say I think they're just like salty sea air with whatever the other notes is but I'm not sure maybe it's not um, the notes for this say my favorite lavender blended with crystallized sea salt and hints of soft woods white musk and sugary vanilla so I'm thinking it's not salty here. Oh no, this one is not salty here. Look at that. This smells so good. I love her lavender scents. This is a really good lavender. Oh yeah. This smells almost like you walked outside and just touched your lavender plant and then smell your fingers like realistic lavender a little bit of sea salt i get that like woodsy note i get the musk yeah and there is a vanilla in here that almost makes this smell like a sweet lavender but i really think it's more of like an actual realistic lavender and then with that vanilla added Oh, that's good. That's going to be really nice for the bedroom. That is a really good bedtime scent. 
I enjoy that. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, I got salted peppermint. And this one is crystallized sea salt blends with cool, sweet peppermint. Oh my goodness, this peppermint is so good. <laughs> There's the clam. Yeah, and this, oh, I love this. This is definitely that like salty note with, oh, I just broke it. With a beautiful crisp peppermint. Mm, I love that. That is wonderful. And that can be melted any time of year, really. Cause it's mostly that like really crisp peppermint scent. Okay, then what else did I get? Are there any more salted ones? No, okay. But I got Pearls of the Ocean. And let's see if the notes are here. Um, yes, pink sugar, suntan lotion, salty ocean, sand, fresh breezes, and mandarin. That sounds lovely. Oh yeah, definitely pink sugar and suntan lotion. What suntan lotion is that? Is that copper tone? That might be copper tone. Ooh, I love this one. Mm, yeah, I popped it out. But that's, that is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Yeah, definitely pink sugar, suntan lotion. I think it's copper tone. You do get that little bit of saltiness. Oh man, that is good. Guys, I'm just obsessed with the bathing garden. I just think her scents are so pretty and unique and just, ugh. And obviously the aesthetic is on point. I can't. Okay. Um, let's see this one. I did night blooming flowers. Um, let's see if this is here. Cause some of them aren't on here. I don't know if they're newer or Night blooming. Yeah, I don't see this one on here, so I'll just have to tell you what I think it smells like. Okay, I feel like I definitely get jasmine. I could be wrong, but I feel like I'm smelling jasmine. And what else? Let me pop it out. There's another floral in here. This is pretty. Definitely floral, obviously. Maybe gardenia. There's something slightly green in here, so I... Almost like I'm getting the leaves of the flower also. This is floral, but it's very pretty. I feel like it's white florals, which I can typically do white florals as opposed to like more powdery or, um, I don't know. There are florals that I can't do and this is one that I can. So I feel like it's white florals. Look how pretty. I <sighs> just watched that all day. Yeah, I feel like there's like a sweet greenness in here with the like flower petals also. So that's really pretty and I love this color of this clamshell. Okay. Um, I Like I said, I picked up a clam of Mother Nature. And let's see if this one's on here. Mother, no, I don't see this one on here either. Um, but I was expecting this to be kind of green, maybe herbal. Let's see. Oh, something fell out, I lost. Little, 
little butterfly popped out of there. We'll just sit him up there. Hmm. Oh, hey, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure what this is, but I do get like an herbal. Oh, this smells good. I feel like I'm also getting like a burnt wood. I feel like that wasn't in the notes though when I ordered it. But I feel like I'm getting that like a, like a charred wood with some like herbal tones. I don't know guys, I'm gonna have to find the notes for this. I, they have to be somewhere. Oh, that smells really good. I like it. I'm glad I picked it up in a sugar scrub too. If I find the notes for any of the ones that I couldn't find now, I will put them in the description. Um, just so you guys know. Um, okay, then I grabbed Christmas in July. And this just sounded really nice. Um, see if it's on here. No, it's not on here. I think this was a newer one. I don't remember seeing this before. So there's definitely like an orange, like a citrus with a tree note. Let me pop it out. Oh my, that's really nice. Yeah, I'm mostly getting like a tree note, like a maybe fur with orange and there's some kind of spice in there, but it's very in the background and it's not up front. Like I have to inhale very deeply to get that spice note. And it may be clove. Um, this is really nice. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, I really, really like this. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up right now. Like that tree, I think it's fur with a citrus, like an orange. And then a little bit of clove, I think. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know if I want to melt that now or hold on to it until Christmas time. I don't know, we'll see, but like I said, I'll try to find these notes and put them below so you guys know what's in there. Um, and I have this one, Beach Blanket. So if you've been watching my videos, you may have seen this scent um, come up from another vendor. And this is a recent love of mine. I absolutely fell in love with this. And I just, I'm gonna need it all the time. So when I saw it here, I had to pick it up and I was hoping that it would be the same scent. Um, the notes look sim looked similar. I cannot find the notes on there. Once again, I think this is the first time she's offered this. So I don't see the notes on the scent list, but hopefully I can find them afterward for you. I just love this scent so much. It's so nice it's pretty but comforting and a little warm and there's it's definitely coconut but it's a really nice coconut like a creamy uh, like a creamy coconut this to me smells like you've been on the beach all day in the sun with your suntan lotion on and you're laying on a beach blanket that you freshly washed so it smells really clean and fresh and the sun's been beating on it all day and that's it's just it takes me somewhere so the scent is a favorite of mine now and forever it smells so good oh i love it yes so happy to have more of this scent um and it smells like it's going to be a good performer so i look forward to that um okay and then the last two so everything here was one order and then the last two were a separate order 
because there was one that I really wanted and it sold out like it disappeared from the page while I was doing my first order so I went back in a couple days later and I saw it there again so I placed a second order for just two more clamshells um, and she did refund the shipping for that order they're really good about doing that so I didn't have any issues with it um, let me see if this one is on here okay this one is Widow's Walk. This is Violet Clove and Cedarwood. Okay, sorry, I had to pause for a second. So, like I said, this is, what did I say? Violet Clove and Cedarwood. That just sounded really nice to me. And I originally had this in my cart with my first order and I took it out. So when I went back in and I was like, you know what, just pick it up. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, it's really, you get each of those notes. You get the violet, the clove, and the cedar wood. It's like this really nice woodsy from the cedar wood. I always love clove. Oh my goodness, this is going to be, oops, that's not what I wanted to show you, this. For me, this is going to be really nice for fall. It smells very fall like to me. Those notes are blending so well in here. Ugh. Violet to me, Jonathan, my cat's hissing at my dog. Violet to me is a very like clean smelling floral. And I get that here. Oh, I love how these notes are blending in this. Yeah, I'm glad I picked that up. And I really look forward to it. I don't know if you guys can see. There's like little, do you see those like little ball sprinkles in there that look like bubbles? I love it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. And the last thing I picked up that I don't think is going to be on the scent list because, I mean, maybe it is. No, I don't see it. So I'll have to look this up too. Um, I think this is new, but it's Gothic Boardwalk. And this was the one that disappeared while I was doing my first order and then reappeared when I went in a couple days later. So I'm glad that I got my hands on it. I mostly wanted it because look at this clamshell. <laughs> How cool is that? It's like fulfilling my Halloween needs in July. I love it. And I get, I feel like I get apple in here, like a candy apple or maybe a caramel apple. Definitely, to me, this smells like a green apple. And then there's maybe like cinnamon and clove. Something else in here though that I can't remember what it is. Oh, I love this though. Mm. I feel like there's something earthy in here though. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up, but that smells so good. And it smells like it's going to be strong. So really glad I got my hands on this one. It's just, I, I'm obsessed with this clamshell. <laughs> oh my, what is that outside? Okay, anyway guys, that was the last one, so I want to make this even longer than it already is, but that is everything that I picked up from the last Bathing Garden RTS. Um, yeah, I look forward to her Halloween fall restock. I don't know when it will be. Hopefully, we'll get word on that soon. Um, I'm thinking maybe, I mean, I don't want to guess, but... I'm thinking it'll be closer to September um, since this was early July. I feel like that one will probably be early September, but we'll see. Anyway, I love everything that I got. There's nothing that I don't like. I, I really like everything. And if you guys picked up anything in this RTS, let me know. Let me know what you're loving or what you would want to try from these scents that I picked up. 
um, I always like hearing from you guys so oh and I did want to say thank you guys so much for everyone who sent us positive vibes prayers good juju anything you put out there for us um, I appreciate so much they did end up accepting our offer on the house so now we just have to make it to closing so fingers crossed that we get there um, if you still have any good energy to put out into the universe for us once again we are willing to receive it and I just it means so much to me that you guys even care <laughs> so Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later.